An annual event this weekend offers attendees an opportunity to celebrate authentic Irish heritage. There are a number of activities like traditional dance, Gaelic sports, and Celtic marketplace, and of course, Irish food and drinks. So I've covered this event in the past, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, Natalie and I actually had a chance to check it out for ourselves to give you a taste of what you can expect later today in St. Paul. So this here is the centenary of the Easter Rising 1916, which was one of the most romantic and glorious episodes in Irish history, where in complete defiance of British law and authority proclaimed an Irish Republic. All seven guys who signed that proclamation were subsequently executed. Now this might sound like a disaster, but actually this blood sacrifice uh, galvanized uh, support for Irish nationalism and led to the Irish War of Independence in 1919. These dancers have been dancing for anywhere from three to over 10 years. So our soft shoe dancing is very uh, light. They dance way up on their toes, lots of leaps, lots of jumps. Is there audience participation? Um, we hope so, <laughs> yes. We love it when everyone's dancing uh, out in the aisles and in front of the stage, especially when the little guys get up. <laughs> Saturday at 2.30 on the River Stage, we have the Kilt Contest. It's our 10th year this year. And so we have at least 40 to 50 male competitors vying for the ultimate and best legs in a kilt. We have our youth competition, so we have our 2015 winner, Declan, and James won in 2014. Yep, and then we have competition of hairiest legs, tattooed legs, distinguished gentlemen, best crowd pleaser, which we really had to add because it gets a little rowdy. This is the shepherd's pie. So this is a um, ground beef with root vegetables, so we've got carrots and onions, and then we got some peas in there too, in a secret blend of uh, spices and herbs. Whoa, careful now. Mm -hmm. Don't oh. burn your mouth. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, it is a bread pudding, warm and tipsy bread pudding. Um, so in there you have uh, sourdough bread, apples, raisins, cinnamon, um, then it's topped with Jameson vanilla pudding. I don't know if you can see the vanilla pudding underneath that whipped cream. Vincent, what do we have here? We have the fish and chips. Of course, okay. right? I'm trying to say with an Irish accent, but I can't, <laughs> so. So what we have is a batter, uh, a piece of cod, beer batter. Digging in. Fish and chips for breakfast. <laughs> mm. I don't care if you're Irish or not. This is delicious. Mm, thank you. to be interactive on those and I was really hoping you'd bust out your kilt for that. Sorry, uh, it's at the cleaners. Oh, next time. Well, the Irish Fair is today from 11 to 7 to 11 to 7 tonight at Harriet Island and the event is free. And I'll be honest, all of that food I had, no joke, was e excellent. It was really, really good. So it's mm -hmm. uh, some of the best versions of that food that you can get.